Finally, we made it to the prison tour. You guys ready to see what happens inside of a prison? I'm excited. I wonder if there's going to be real prisoners. Ooh, me too. But guys, it looks like that's our tour guide over there. Hi, we're here for the prison tour. Oh, hello. Here for the 3 p.m. tour I see. I got a Mr. Dash uh, Banana Ram on the list. Is that true? What? That, that, that is not my last name. Who put that there? Oops. Um, I think it was Cam. Cam, why would you? Okay, but uh, yeah, my name's Dash. We're here. Oh, it's a pretty nice last name you got there, Dash. All right, are you guys ready to get this tour started? Uh, that's not my last name, but okay, let's go. All righty, let's do it. And ooh, okay, this prison looks pretty cool. Whoa, kind of looks like a big hotel. Uh, I wouldn't say that's a hotel. That right there is prison block one. That's where the low level criminals go, like you. Wait, what? Wait, 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 I'm not a criminal, what? Oh, I'm just joking. I'm just making a little joke, a little funny joke, a little bit. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> uh, guys, what does he mean by that? Oh, this guy's got a pretty weird sense of humor, huh? I don't know. All right, all right, but whoa, that's pretty cool. Wait, is there real prisoners in there right now? Can we see them? Uh, not at the moment, no. We we have to give them uh, isolation because they might try to murder you. Uh, let's move on. Okay. Yo, are these go-karts? Over here, these are my pride and joys of my children, the cars. And, whoa, 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 Cam, I don't think you just drive them like that. Yeah, I don't think these are go-karts. These are police cars. No, no, you can't be touching these. Uh, I'm going to kick you out if you touch these again. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Cam, we just got here. Don't get us kicked out. Yeah, Cam, we're going to end up in one of those prison cells if you keep that up. Man, I wanted to drive these. See how cool that thing looks? It does look pretty cool. Cool. Mm -mm. That first one right here, this is my baby, Chanel. What, you gave the car a name? Yeah, isn't she a beauty? Uh, she kind of looks the same as all the others. Chanel's kind of a weird name. Mwah. Uh, he kissed that car. Ew, okay, okay, but uh, anyways, what, what else happens inside of a prison? I want to learn more about what goes on here and like what happens to the criminals once they get in trouble and then go here. Oh, it is awful. You know what we do to the prisoners that go in these cells? Uh, uh, wait, what, what, what do you do? We give them a warm bed, three meals a day, TV, rectum. Time and games. That, that actually doesn't sound too bad. It kind of just sounds like a hotel. It, it, it's, it's, it's not as fun as it sounds. We stand on my shoulder, see if you can see a prisoner in there. Ooh, let's see, let's see. And wait, wait, is there actually one in there? I don't see anything. Oh yeah, that right there. That's that's the invisible tickler. What? Oh yeah, he tickles everyone, and he's invisible. Ooh, wait, what? That's right. Don't mess with him. Uh, are you sure there's someone in there? I don't really see anyone. Yeah. How do you know he's invisible? Uh, I'm pretty sure he's in there. Are you sure he didn't just escape? Uh, I mean, he might have escaped. I'm I'm like 20 percent sure he's still in there. Let's just move on. Uh, uh, okay, but whoa, there's so many cell blocks in here. How many prisoners do you guys have in total? Uh, at least four. Anyway, this right here is cell block B. This is where some of the more intimidating criminals go. Wait, what? More intimidating criminals? Whoa, wait, there's actually someone in here, guys. Guys, look, there's a prisoner. Well, a real life prisoner? What? This guy right here. Guess what he did? Uh, uh, did he steal from a grocery store? Wrong, Cam, you guess. Um, he tried to steal a brick from a wall. Wrong, Ruby, you guess. Uh, I, uh, 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 uh Wrong. I didn't even guess anything. How was that wrong? He jaywalked. Wait, what? He walked without the green light turning on? Wait, and he's in prison? That, that doesn't seem like that bad of a crime. <sighs> you don't understand, Dash. He put people's lives at risk. Like, like, like who himself? Uh, uh, you know, let's just move on with the tour. Wait, what? Just answer the question. Hey guys, this prison's kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't think he's the most professional police officer. Do you think we can ask for a different tour guide? Yeah, wait. Are there any other tour guides around here? I'm standing right here. By the way, don't appreciate that. Look, I'm professional. I know what I'm doing. This right here is cell block C. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Oh, okay. Wait, what type of criminals are in here? Oh, we can't have you. You see them, but these guys blew up villages. They stole diamonds. They massacred tens of people. It's crazy. What? Okay, okay. That's some actual bad crimes. Those people deserve to be in prison. Um, uh, uh, Mr. Officer Fastbear, <laughs> you know this is not cell block C, right? That, that's cell block C? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, did it? I, I think you got the numbers wrong, or the letters wrong. No, this is cell block, uh, uh yeah. What? <laughs> did you just make up your own letter? Uh, no, that, that's a, that's a real letter. Uh, all right, listen, listen, look. Uh, l let's just move on to this cell block over here. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Well, what's this cell block here? Which type of prisoner is going here? We call this one the cube. Wait, the, the, the cube? This is where the all the scary Minecraft mobs go. We got zombies, creepers, endermen in here. All things that are super powerful and can lead to a lot of damage and even death. Whoa. Okay, okay. That seems like a good idea, actually. Those mobs are pretty scary. They, like, come out at night and try to, like, mess with us. That, that seems pretty good. Now, this is what I wanted to see from a prison. Ooh, ooh I got a question. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, do you guys have Herobrine here? Ooh, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Do you guys? Oh, wait, do you guys also have like the Ender Dragon here? Don't talk about Hero Brian. Let's go ahead and move on with the tour, guys. Uh, uh, okay, but wait, is there any of the prisoners that we can meet? I want to like interview one of them and see what they think of this place. Mm, there might just be one. Go ahead and follow me. Wait, really? We can see one of the prisoners, guys. This is gonna be so much fun. Yes. Just be careful. No loud noises and no sudden movements. Uh, uh, uh okay. Wait, wait, what type of prisoner is this? Is he like a dinosaur or something? Shh, 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 shh. Don't talk. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but wait, where are we right now? What is this place? I don't know, but I'm kind of freaked out. This is the spoon. Now this is where the real criminals go. G guys? Wait, what? The, the, the real criminals? Wait, Cam, what, what are you looking at? What the heck is that? What was that? Guys, this right here is Smelvin. Don't make direct eye contact. <laughs> what, what does Smelvin do? What? Why does he look like that? Why does he sound like that? Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Just thinking about his crime sends shivers down my spine. Wait, what crime did he do? Smelvin right here blew up a villager's house. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. What, wait, Smelvin, why did you blow up a villager house? That seems like a horrible thing to do. I allegedly did it. <laughs> What? No, he did it for sure. He's guilty. Look at him. Wait, is that why his face looks like that? Did he get caught in the blast? Hey, don't make fun of my face. Uh, this guy is weird. Can we leave? No, I want you guys to get the full experience. Go ahead. Ask him a question. Anything. Uh, 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 uh okay. Wait, Ruby, you want to ask him something? Um, sure. Uh, what's your favorite color? Small. <laughs> What, what, what are you, I don't think that's even a color. That's his favorite color. It's true. He says that all the time. What, uh, okay, wait. What, what, what's your favorite food? I like to smell food. I don't eat it. What? That's no, 100% true. He, he kept smelling my lunch while I was eating. It was very annoying. Gosh, I am super creeped out. This is crazy. Wait, Cam, you asked him a question. Uh, why did they call you Smelvin? I smell. <laughs> What? That's true. We used to call him Stinky Vin, but it just didn't really didn't really work out. Uh, uh, wait, hold on. How many years does he have left in here? Ah, uh, about the rest of his life. I've been here for eight billion years. Oh no! Okay, uh, I I don't ever want to be in prison. Uh, this guy kind of creeps me out. Can we just move on? Yeah, I think we should get out of here before Smelvin starts smelling you guys. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Don't leave. You smell good. Let's move on to the cafeteria. We can get a bite to eat. Oh, uh, all right. Although I'm not really sure if I want to eat prison cafeteria food, but whoa, this place is so big. You guys really have enough prisoners to fit this place? Uh, I mean, yeah, we can fit all the prisoners in here. What is this menu? This is horrible. The beetroot, slime ball, spider eyes. I don't know. Eat the grass. Uh, toilet water. Ew. Come on. This is like, this is good. Uh, it's like British food. Uh, I, what can I get you? I guess I'll just take some rice. What are JK slime balls? No, dash. Look, it says cake and cooked chicken. Uh, just kidding. Slime balls. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, okay, that's horrible. Is that what you're? ordering no 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 no! i don't want the slime balls i don't want the slime balls uh, uh let's see what do i want uh i don't know eat the grass what is this i don't want any of this stuff come on it's all great just choose something please uh i'll go with some beetroot yeah me too beetroot sounds good two orders of beetroot you got it i'm um, excuse me mr officer fazbear uh, are you sure this prison's you know safe for people and, oh no dude there's literally a hole here the prisoners are probably escaping from here oh that's probably why we don't have a lot of prisoners in here but uh, look look i have your food ready uh uh okay Ew, wait, what is that? I think that's my rice. We got one order of rice. Here you go, Mr. Cam. Oh, sweet. I wouldn't need that if I were you. And then for Dash, got a slime ball. I, I, I didn't even order this. I ordered beetroot. And then for Ruby, we got a bee nest. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want this. What? You, you ordered it. You, you you said you wanted the bee nest. It tastes like honey. What? That's what you said. This is like the root of all bees. It's, it's, it's a bee root. <laughs> I don't think that's what she meant. But anyways, that was a pretty good tour. I'm going to take this slime ball as a souvenir home with me. But yeah. All right. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Let's go ahead and exit this prison finally. Finally? What, what is that supposed to mean? My shift's over. I'm bored. That, th this guy's weird. Dash, I don't like this prison. Let's never come back ever again. Yeah, let's get out of this place. I think this prison tour may have not been the best idea. All right. But anyways, thanks for the tour. That was pretty fun. Of course. Thanks, guys, for coming. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And, uh, wait, hold on. Do you guys hear that? Oh, no! The prison's blowing up! What the heck? Smalvin's getting his revenge! To the water! To the water! Oh, no! No! How did Smalvin get his hands on TNT? I'm free. Wait, did that Smalvin guy just blow up the entire prison? Oh, no! Uh, good thing our tour ended kind of early. This place is burned to the ground. Good thing we weren't in there when it blew up. Oh, man, what am I gonna do? <laughs> now my prison's gone. I have to pay, like, 500 diamonds and my builders are on vacation. Wait a minute, hold on. Did you guys hear that? He has to pay 500 diamonds to rebuild his prison, and his builders are on vacation. What if 
We rebuild the prison. 500 diamonds sounds kind of nice. Oh, I could, like, uh, eat so many tacos with 500 uh, diamonds. Wait, plus building a prison isn't that hard. And Yeah, wait, wait, hold on. We could probably do this. Hey, officer, officer, wait, uh, we kind of overheard you. You need to pay 500 diamonds to build another prison, but your builders are on vacation. What? We can rebuild a prison for you. You'd really do that for me? And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll do it for the cheap price of 500 diamonds, of course, but yeah. Really? Yeah, 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 go, go for it, go for it, I'll, I'll, I'll pay, for sure. Yeah, don't worry, and plus I'm a professional builder, but uh, we've got to fill in the land. And yeah, we got a lot of work to do. The first thing we should probably do is fill in all of this empty space. Well, it seems like you guys know what you're doing. I'll be back in about an hour to check on it, all right? And all right, all right, make sure to come back with diamonds, because this is about to be the best prison you've ever seen. Yeah, for for sure. Yeah, come back with them pockets full, boy! Let's go! All right, all right well, guys, here, the first thing we got to do is fill in this entire big, massive crater with a bunch of grass and hold on a minute i know a faster way we can do this we gotta use the magic wand oh yeah thank gosh he thought of that uh, i'm actually gonna get rid of this tnt while you do that and yeah yeah that's probably a good idea we don't want any extra tnt in here but here what i'm gonna do is just select this entire prison area real quick i'm just gonna go all the way over here in this other corner and all right guys check it out i'm about to instantly fill in the hole i just gotta do slash slash set grass block boom there we go now we got a big platform to build the prison on Whoa. yeah first we gotta clean up this debris and and then we can start working on the actual prison. Yeah, and okay, guys, we gotta make this prison much better than before. That other prison was kind of lacking. How did that prisoner even get TNT? I don't know. He probably just asked for it. I don't know, but if a prisoner can get TNT in a prison, then that means it's not a good prison. But anyways, we've got all of this land cleared out now. I think the first thing we should probably do for our prison is build the walls. Guys, we gotta build, like, a big gate around the entire prison area. Yeah, prison walls normally have, like, uh, iron bars, right? Yep, so what I'm gonna do is select this position right over here, and then all also, this other position all the way here in the other corner. And let me just go ahead and set the walls into some iron bars. Boom! There we go. Now we got some nice prison walls to start working with. Okay, this is kind of cool, but what if the prisoners, you know, can climb over it? Yeah, and what if they break it? It's only one layer. And, hmm, okay, okay, true, true, true. That is a good point. What is stronger than iron bars that we could use in... <gasps> Wait a minute, guys. I have an idea. Hold on, hold on. Let me do slash slash walls again. Except this time, I'm going to set it into some nether brick fences. And then hear me out, hear me out. Let me go all the way up here to the top of the wall. And I'm just going to set the top part over here into some nether act. And then, guys, I got one more thing to do. I just got to go all the way over here on the, above the nether act. And finally, I got to set a layer of fire. Boom! There we go. Check it out. Now, no prisoners are going to be escaping from here. Ooh. I think this is pretty smart, actually. Yeah. Yeah, now the prisoners aren't going to be able to climb over the fence. And I'm pretty sure nether brick fences are, like, super strong. So there's no way they're getting over it. But, guys, we got to build a door next. We should probably build a door right over here so that, you know, prison trucks and stuff can get in. Yeah, we should make the door big and scary. Yeah, yeah, we got to have a big fancy entrance right over here. So there we go. I think that's looking pretty good. But hold on a minute, guys. We got to make it so that you can open and close the door because we don't want this door to be always open. Then prisoners are going to escape. Oh, I got an idea. What about a door that's made of lava? Wait, a lava door? That is a banger idea. Okay, okay, I know what we're doing. Let me go ahead and grab a dispenser. And guys, what we gotta do is put some dispensers all the way down over here at the top of the door. And then we gotta fill these things up with a bunch of lava buckets. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that'll look super scary. Yep, yep, yep. And then we can have redstone inside to activate and deactivate the door. It's gonna be sick. Let's just go ahead and put all of this lava over here. And then we gotta dig a little hole in the ground over here like this for the lava to flow into and not, you know, spill out. Yeah, I also put some netherrack around the dispensers so uh, nobody can, you know, try and get out. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. But anyways, guys, hold on. The next thing we need to do is put down some redstone. I'm just gonna break some of this fire over here and let's put a little bit of redstone connecting all of these dispensers together like that. And then let me grab a lever and I'm just gonna put that right over here and Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I think what we need to do is move these blocks one block higher. Hold on. And all right, guys, check it out. Now, this should actually work. And <gasps> let's go. We got the lava door complete. This is awesome. I think this looks super secure. Yeah, but I, I don't think we should have a lever here. A prisoner could just walk by and just, you know, let themselves out. And actually, yeah, that, that is a very good idea. But hmm, how do we make it more secure than a lever? What could we use instead? Ooh, what if we just uh, have, I don't know, the, the, a snowball launcher? What? A snowball? What? Well, I'm just throwing ideas, Brie. That is a horrible idea. Yeah, guys, 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 I have a cool idea, though. What if we use a keypad? Wait, what's a keypad? Oh, check it out. Pretty much, I'm just gonna put it down right over here. And, hmm, guys, what should we set the code into? Oh, something that's super, super hard to remember. Like, a 4321. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hey, guys, those are horrible codes. We need to do something that's actually hard to, you know, guess. So, <gasps> what about... Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, okay, what, what is it, what is it? 1, 2, 4, 5. Whoa! Uh, uh, okay, I guess we can go with that. That's kind of easy to remember, kind of hard to guess for the prisoners. Let's just put that 
in over there and check it out now. Whenever I put in the code one, two, four, five, boom, it'll open up the door. Isn't that awesome? Ooh, what was it again? One, two, three, four? No, no, Ruby, how did you forget it already? It was one, two, four, five, but check it out. Now that we have this, the prison guards can open up the door since they'll know the code, but the prisoners can't. Ooh, cool, but wait, what if the prisoners just like walk through the lava? And what, R Ruby, how are the prisoners gonna walk through the lava? They're gonna get burned. Oh, I don't know. What if there's like a blaze in the prison? Hold on. Hmm, that actually is kind of a good idea. If there is a blaze in the prison, then he's gonna be able to just walk through here. <gasps> Guys, we need another layer of security. We can't only have this door. We need to have like another door area back here. Hmm, what are we gonna do for the second door? Uh, hmm, let's see, let's see. What can we do that a blaze can't go through? <gasps> Wait, guys, why don't we have a water door? Ooh, okay, so we have a fire door, then a water door, and then an air door. What? <laughs> we can do all of that except for the air door, but ooh, wait, wait, actually, guys, hold on. Instead of water, what about we have a poison door? Check it out. Look, there's a poison bucket. Oh, uh, it don't look like it. Yeah, this looks like regular water. I'm gonna drink but, it. No, 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 Ruby, don't drink it. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. Guys, that is very well poisoned. Look at that. I just wanted a pig. It is uh, getting poisoned, but hold on a minute. This poison door could actually be really good. Let's just go ahead and copy this door design that we have over here. We can just build another one right over here on this side. And Oh, no, I went into the poison bucket. I got poison now. Oh, did you drink it? Did it taste good? What? No, I didn't drink it. I suddenly fell in. But here, let's just go ahead and make another door. We just got to make an exact replica of that other one that we have over there. Except this time, we'll put poison inside of it. And boom, there we go. They are all now filled with some poison buckets. The next thing we need to do is build another one of these cover things over here so that the poison doesn't spill out. Let's just go ahead and put a little bit of nether rack around here like this. There we go. That's looking pretty good. And then finally, we got to put down the redstone. Yeah, I've got the floor part done. Very nice. Very nice. And ooh, guys, why don't we just have one keypad for activating both of the doors? We can just have one keypad over here at the front and then one out here in this side over here. Ooh, okay. Wait, can we have it the same password? I'm not going to remember it if we change it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do the same password. Let's just put a keypad down right over here. And then what we have to do is connect this keypad up to this redstone over here. So I'm just going to make a nice little redstone line that connects both of the dispensers together like that. There we go. And ooh, I should also probably put a repeater in here so that, you know, the redstone signal doesn't fade out. And here, now let me set the code again. One, two, four, five. And okay, let's see. Is this going to work? Guys, let me just put in the code. One, two. Oh, wait, I messed it up. Hold on, hold on. One, two, four, five. And did I really just write it wrong? Uh, wait, what? Did you forget the password too? Wait, hold on. Did I? Hold on. Let me try typing it again. And oh, no, I got it right. I got it right. And oh, let's go. It works. That is actually awesome. Awesome. Wait, guys, hold on. We need to add another keypad over here on the outside for any prison guards trying to get in. Let's just go and put down one right over here. And we can just use the same code as before. One, two, four, five. And now we just got to connect the redstone of this one over here as well. And there we go. I think that should work. Check it out now. If I enter the code one, two, four, five in here, boom. There we go. We can open up the doors. Let's go. Wow, well, they open up at the same time. Let's go. That is actually awesome. Okay, okay, but guys, we've got the entrance done, but we don't really have any place to, you know, house prisoners, and we gotta build some cell blocks. Okay, yeah, um, let's uh, build them a nice house with a big kitchen. And, uh, uh, what? No, 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 Ruby, we don't gotta build them a nice house with a big kitchen. These are prisoners, remember? We have to build them just, uh, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, just like a little room with a toilet and a bed and a sink, and yeah, that should be about everything prisoners need. Yeah, we gotta build them a gaming room. Oh, wait, what if they get mad at us? And what, Kim, did you just say a gaming room? No, we're not giving the prisoners a gaming room. Guys, this is a prison, not like a, a luxury hotel. And Whoa, what are those blocks? Oh, I don't know. I found them. They're called Crimson Andesite. Whoa, Crimson Andesite. Hold on, hold on. This stuff looks awesome. Actually, it, it looks like kind of a little bit creepy. I'm not gonna lie. Why don't we just use a little bit of stone bricks for the walls? There's all kinds of this crimson stuff. Whoa, what the heck? Wait, we should build the scary parts of the prison out of this stuff. And ooh, yeah, this could be what the maximum security cell block is gonna be made out of. But guys, we gotta build like the minimal security cell block first. And for that, why don't we just use a little bit of uh, deep slate, actually. I think this could look cool. We can use some deep slate bricks. Wait, give me some. Give me some. All right, all right, there you go, Ruby. What we gotta do is start building it right over here. It can be kind of close to the entrance in here. We can do this with commands again. Let me select this position right over here, and then also this other position over here, and let's just do slash slash walls deep slate bricks. Boom! There we go. That's looking pretty good. And okay, okay, now we gotta build the actual prison cells inside, so uh, we can have the door be right over here, and all right, guys, now it's prison time. Yay! Let's go! Wait, I'm gonna make a heart-shaped window right here. And wait, 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 you're gonna make a heart-shaped window in a prison? Oh, wait, you're right. I shouldn't make it a heart-shaped window. I should make it a diamond-shaped window. Why, why are you making it all nice, fancy shapes? This is a prison, Ruby. Remember, these are bad people going here. Oh, well, maybe if they 
see something pretty, they'll be less bad. Oh, maybe actually. Yeah, this has got to be maximum level security, so we need something like this. And what? No, no, Cam, this is not the maximum level security. Is that a smiley face? Yeah, hold on, I got to move it up one. What? No, 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 this, this isn't the maximum security cell, guys. This is the low security. This is for all, like, the, you know, not that bad prisoners. This is for the people who, like, um, stole bread from the grocery store or something. Ooh, so evil. It's not that evil, but here, let's go ahead and set the floor into some more deep slate bricks. And all right, guys, let's start building the cell blocks out of some iron bars. Okay, and what do you think of this? And let me take a look, and um, uh, I guess it looks all right. But wait, wait, hold on, Ruby. You should probably move it a little bit to the right over there. We don't want the prisoners breaking through this stuff. Oh, what? Is it easy to break through this stuff? I'm pretty sure it's easier to break through amethyst than it is to break through deep slate bricks. And uh, Cam, are, are you really putting smiley faces everywhere? The prisoners are easily going to break through this. What? I, there's no way they can fit through it. They can break it, but they can't fit through it. Mm, okay, okay. But what if they break open a window and then they have like a visitor give them TNT through the window? Well, these windows are connected to the inside of the prison. So we're fine. We're fine. Hey, Cam, do not remember what happened to this old prison. Do you not remember Smelvin? He got TNT. That's probably how he got TNT. They had windows there and a visitor probably gave him TNT. <gasps> That's so scary, but wait, who would visit Smelvin? I don't know. Maybe he has like some family members or something. Yeah, like Smelvin's brother, uh, Delvin. I wonder what Smelvin's family members would even look like, but alright guys, it's time to start making the cells. Let's go ahead and build the cells three blocks wide each. They don't really need to have too much room as long as we can fit a bed, a toilet, and a sink in there. We should be good. So there we go. That looks like all of the cells done. And okay guys, now we need to add the doors in. Cam, stop going crazy with these decorations. We don't need these. What? You're telling me this does not look cool? Uh, Cam, the prisoners are, look what the prisoners are going to do. Act like you're a prisoner over here, all right? Yeah, I'm a prisoner. Yeah, yeah, just act like you're a prisoner inside of the cell, and I'm going to be a visitor. Let me just uh, grab a little bit of TNT, and all right, prisoner buddy, here you go. Take some TNT. That's exactly what's going to happen. No, they're not going to do that because visitors aren't allowed to bring TNT in. Yeah, but what if they do? Well, why would they accept it? It's bad. But, uh, Ruby, uh, the prisoners are obviously going to accept the TNT if they can use it to break out. But why would anybody do something bad? But, the Ruby, that's why they're here in the first place, because they did something bad. Oh. I don't think you understand how a prison works. I don't know if I know either, but um, this place looks kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, here, guys. I'm working on the cells right now. We got to put some iron doors here so that none of the prisoners can escape. And then let me grab a few levers, and we can just put some levers over here outside of the iron doors. This way, the prison guards can open up the doors, but the prisoners can't leave. There you go. Now it's maximum level security. And, what, what, did you just replace this glass with... Oh, reinforced glass? Okay, okay. I guess we can have some art on the walls if it's going to be made out of reinforced glass. Yeah, we can make the high security prisons have brownie faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but anyways, guys, we gotta actually work on these cells over here. Right now, we've got all of these rooms done, but there's nothing inside of them. We need to put beds in, like, sinks and all that, so, uh, ooh, let's put a gray bed in here, the most boring color, yeah. Ooh, that is a pretty boring color. That'll make them all pay. Yep. That, uh, they also need, like, a chest there. Oh, wait, wait, why do they need a chest? What are they gonna be putting in a chest here, Cam? I don't know. Their shirts and pants and stuff. And, okay, actually, yeah, that, that makes sense, and then they're all also gonna need a toilet, which I guess they can have right next to the bed. They're gonna have to sleep next to the toilet. Uh, Alright, let's see. What can I give them? Oh, ooh, they, uh, one of these would be good. Alright, I think, I think this is good enough. We'll need one of those. And wait, are you putting stuff inside of the chest? And, uh, Cam, no, you can't put a grappling hook in the prisoner's chest. They're gonna use this to escape. Why not? That is a horrible idea. What are you talking about? Okay, hold on, hold on. What equipment are prisoners gonna need? And, uh, Cam, uh, prisoners are not gonna need cheesecake. They're gonna need, like, t-shirts and toothbrushes. That's about it. They're definitely gonna need a phone. No, Cam, they're not gonna need a phone. Well, it's boring in prison. What else are they supposed to do? Well, Cam, they have to stay here and think about what they've done. Hey, Dad, I have an idea. Wait, what is it? What is it? This thing. What, what the heck is that? Wouldn't it be fun for the prisoners to play with? Uh, uh is that a crossbow? I don't, I don't know about that, Ruby. Hold on. How much damage does this thing do? Let me spawn in a zombie real quick. And yo, wait, it's shooting at the zombie automatically. That's awesome. Oh, wait. Oh, that, this seems uh, kind of dangerous now. Oh, oh, wait, but hold on a minute. Why don't we put a few of these on top of the prison cells over here like this? Ooh. That way, in case any of the prisoners try to escape, the crossbows will get him. And we'll give this guy a pet seal so he's not lonely. And what? No, Cam, we can't give the prisoners pets, okay? That's not how it works. We need to put, like, clothing in here, not pets and other... Oh, look at the seal. He's slipping. Look at him. He's so cute. I don't care. <laughs> Guys, stop acting like babies. We gotta get this work done. If we don't finish this prison, we're not gonna get that 500 diamonds. I'm running away. What, Cam, are you kidding me? It was just a seal. <laughs> He looks so cute. Wait, don't prisons have like SEAL teams or something? And 
Uh, I, I, I don't know about that, guys. But hold on a minute. We gotta put some actual equipment inside of this chest for the prisoners. We can't have phones. We can't have cheesecake. That's all horrible stuff. What we need to do is give them some clothing. So, uh, what about a little bit of leather armor? And, ooh, guys, we gotta make this leather armor look like a prisoner outfit. What we can do is dye it white and black. Ooh, wait, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, here. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of dye and also a crafting table. And let's just go ahead and put all of this stuff into the crafting table and just dye it white and black just like this. And, okay, wait, hold on. Let me put this on. Does this look like a prisoner outfit? And yo, that's actually looking kind of cool. It looks like a prisoner outfit, doesn't it? Not at all. They aren't prisoners supposed to wear orange? And what? No, they wear like white and black. Didn't you see Smelvin? He was wearing white and black. Well, he was wearing both white and black and orange. He had like white and black sleeves and then like an orange jumpsuit. I'm pretty sure orange is supposed to be the color. Okay, okay, fine, fine. We can dye it orange. Jeez, that's easier. Here, let me go ahead and grab a little bit of orange dye and then let me just take off all of this armor. And all right, guys, we got to dye all of this armor orange. And ooh. These prisoners are gonna be so fashionable! Uh, Ruby, I wouldn't really call it fashionable. It's kind of just like a prison jumpsuit. Wait, what? Um, I guess so, but, um, won't they feel nice when they wear it? I guess so, but, hey, uh, do you guys think this is good? It's all orange and stuff, and why is there so many seals here? What? It's seal team six, bruh. What? Dude, we don't need this many seals. Oh, my gosh. There's six seals. Okay, we don't need seals in here. I'm getting rid of all these guys. What? It's SEAL Team 6. Prison's supposed to have these. I know what I'm talking about. No, they, they don't. We don't need SEALs in here. These guys belong in the ocean. But here, I'm going to go ahead and put all of this orange armor inside of the chest. I'm pretty sure this is like the only thing these prisoners are going to need. They don't even need toothbrushes. We can't afford those at this prison. Ooh, what if we give them all uh, filled goblets? And what the heck is a filled goblet? Whoa, wait. You use it to craft powerful armor or drink it? Cam, I don't think we want the prisoners making powerful armor. Why not? Because then they're going to get too OP and then they're going to escape the prison. But here, what we got to do now is just copy this stuff over to all of the other cells. Let me grab a little bit of water and fill up the toilet. Actually, no, this person's not even gonna get water in their toilet. They don't deserve it. So mean. Wait, what? Oh, no, those toilets are gonna stink. Some people can get water, some people won't. They're gonna have to get lucky if they want water, but there we go. That is the last cell fully equipped. Let's go. Now we've got our nice little cell block over here. Dash, this is only like five cells, right? We're gonna have so many more prisoners here. And yeah, you're right. We're gonna need a lot more cells, but <gasps> wait, I have an idea. Let's go ahead and break these crossbows over here real Real quick and let me grab another wand what we can do is select this entire prison over here like this what, you're gonna get rid of all of our progress and it, no no i'm not getting rid of the progress what i'm gonna do is look up and just run the command slash slash stack and boom there we go check it out two stories Ooh. What? yeah now we can fit double the amount of prisoners let's go ahead and put some more levers over here on all of these doors well, i i'll make a balcony and yep 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 that's the next thing we gotta do we gotta have a balcony and also a staircase to actually get up let me go ahead and just grab some ooh polished deep slate stairs and i'm just gonna put those right over here so that we can get up this is so fancy yep we're gonna have so much room in here the prisoners are gonna be packed they're gonna love it i mean uh they're gonna just hate it it's gonna be like a little neighborhood you're gonna have your neighbor uh just one block next to you but ooh, guys you know what else we can do we could fit this side of the room with some more prison cells let me just go ahead and copy this entire side over here with my wand really quick i'm just gonna select all of this and now let me run the command slash slash copy and here now if i go over to the other side and run the command slash slash flip and slash slash paste boom there we go check it out now we got the prison cells copied to the other side and whoa we've got so many cells now yo wait yeah this really feels like a prison now and uh, I think our door is gone. And oh, oh yeah, yeah, our door is kind of gone. We have to remove one of the cells. We, we can't really have a cell over here. But wait, wait, Cam, we need to replace this glass up here with security glass because right now it's just normal glass and the prisoners are easily going to be able to escape this. There we go. All right, all right. But anyways, nice. Let's go. We have a door over here. We got all of the cells. This place is looking pretty awesome. Yep, and now I'm going to add the finishing touch. Let's go. I'm just going to go ahead and put down a few more levers over here on these cells. And then finally, let's add a few more of those crossbows. Let me just go ahead and grab a heavy crossbow, and I'm just going to put that down right over here in the middle. We can just have two up here. Yeah. Okay, and there and there. And what? Wait, wait, did you really set the floor into magenta carpet? What? It needs a splash of color. <laughs> um, okay, fair enough. I guess we can have a little bit of magenta carpet. The prisoners here aren't, like, the, the worst of the worst. They can have some luxuries. Yeah, the ones that are, like, the worst of the worst can have yellow. And <laughs> what? No, the, the, well, the worst of the worst aren't even going to get any carpet. But anyways, I think the cell block over here is pretty much done. Now, the only thing we have to do is just add a ceiling. Oh, if you know, yellow carpet is beautiful and nice and elegant. Uh, I don't know about that. I feel like purple carpet is the best. Um, I think what 
magenta carpet is the best. But wait, wait, hold on a minute, guys. What if I set the ceiling over here into some iron bars? That could look kind of cool, actually. Oh, wait, that, that looks all right. It looks horrible. It looks like you gave it a weird haircut. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, it, it kind of does. Okay, hold on. Let's just set it to normal blocks, then. We can set it to some deep slate bricks. There we go. When? Oh, I try to get out. Okay, did you get stuck in one of the cells? No, I, I got stuck in one of the iron bars. Oh, all right. But anyways, I think this cell block over here is done. Let's go. We can call this the uh, smiley cell block, I guess. But hold on a minute, guys. Now we got to step it up a notch. We got to make another cell block for the next level of prisoners. We got to make a cell block for the people who are worse. Ooh, okay. We should put sad faces on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be like the mid-level cell block. We can build it uh, right over here, but... Hmm, what should we build this one out of? We gotta build it out of something different. Um, hmm, what's scarier than deep slate? Ooh, um, oh, I got it. Uh, let's do wool. Like, a very bright color. What? No, we're not doing wool. Wool is like a super friendly color. And, ooh, guys, what about some of these burned bricks? Yo, these look kind of scary. Whoa, this stuff is weird. It's like bricks, but darker. It got burned. Let's just go ahead and lay down a floor for this real quick, just like this. And, okay, I, th I think this should be about big enough for this cell block. Let me go ahead and select this part with my wand and then also this other corner all the way up over here and all right it's time to set all of these walls into some burnt bricks come on, come on do it do it do it i'm doing it i'm doing it and boom there we go whoa this is looking pretty creepy hold on we gotta make it a little bit taller we gotta make it like two blocks taller to match the other prison okay and wait this reminds me of something wait wait, wait what does it remind you of the walls kind of look like chocolate uh give me a second it, what? It, no, Ruby, don't look the walls. These are burnt bricks. Yeah, it does taste a little burnt. Chocolate. Um, um, um. And then. Uh, uh, get, no, guys, guys, don't, don't lick the walls. What are you doing? Hold on. We got to focus at the task at hand, okay? Remember, that prison guard guy said he was going to come back. If he doesn't see a good prison, then he's not going to give us those diamonds. Relax. I'm giving it a quality check, and that is definitely a brick. And, uh, yeah, Ruby, I think we knew that. You didn't have to quality check it. But here, next thing we got to do is set the entire floor into some more of these burnt bricks. So, boom, there we go. Floor has been set. And, okay, guys, this time we got to make the cells a little bit more high security we can't just have iron bars because iron bars have holes in them and that's not strong enough okay uh so what do we use then if not iron bars um let's see let's see what could we use instead of iron bars oh i got it what about end rods what? end rods okay i'm pretty sure those are even lower security than iron bars End bars you can literally break with your face yeah, well, what are you talking about no you can't uh, yeah yeah you can look like it's very easy to, you can literally fit through them as well uh well never mind then okay so what else can we do hmm, we need to find something good that we can use we need to find something that we can see through and is also really strong hmm, what about these? and what no, no cobwebs of ruby that's a horrible idea you can just walk through them if you take enough time yeah but you can see through them yeah but it's not that good of an idea hold on hold on we need to find something good that we can use let's see let's see i'm just looking around right now hold on a minute what are these things over here router oh you can't see through that hmm, what about this it's called a cage trap and, what uh, <laughs> a cage trap what does that do it whoa yo wait I, I just got trapped oh wait what about what are these whoa wait hold on reinforced iron bars oh <gasps> that's what we gotta use we can build everything out of reinforced iron bars and uh, <laughs> what is that ruby uh, these are reinforced cobwebs why, why is that a thing why is there such thing as reinforced cobwebs i don't no, but I don't think normal prisoners can break this. Okay, okay. I guess we're gonna have a few reinforced cobwebs. Ooh, why don't we fill up the cell with reinforced cobwebs? That way they have to, like, move around slowly. What if we make the bed out of these? Okay, we can do that. But here, let's go ahead and set this wall of the prison cell out of some of these reinforced iron bars. I think these things are much stronger than normal iron bars. Look, the holes are, like, a lot smaller, so it's really hard to fit through. And, ooh, wait a minute, guys. Why don't we also use a reinforced door? Check this thing out. This thing looks so much stronger than a normal iron door. Yeah, but wait, how do you open it? Uh, I'm guessing just with a lever, right? Right? We can put a lever down right over here and... Uh, what? You can't open it with a lever? How do we open this thing? Oh, wait. How do you open this door? Is it even possible? Oh, wait, wait. Actually, hold on. I bet what you have to do is use a keypad again. Let me put down another keypad right over here. And let's set the code to 1245. And let's see. Is this going to work? And hey, it worked. Ooh, cool. Now the prisoners can open it from the inside. And, oh, wait. Actually, yeah, you're right. Now the prisoners can, like, just sit there and try every single passcode they can think of. What? That's... Okay, how are we supposed to fix that? Uh, I don't know. Hmm, what should we do? Dude, is there anything that we could use other than a keypad door? What is this? I, I, I think this might work. And wait, hold on. What is this? And 
Whoa, a key card reader. <gasps> That's a good idea. Wait, let me try putting this thing down over here and uh, hold on. I need to grab a key card. Where do I grab them from? Oh, wait, there we go. I found it. Level one key card. Let me try putting that inside of the key card reader real quick. And, oh, wait, I have to link it up with the key card. There we go. And now if I try using this key card on the key card scanner, is it going to open and <gasps> yo, check it out. That's actually sick. Ooh, okay, wait, can I have a key card? And yeah, yeah, here. Everyone take a key card and oh, Cam, they're yellow. Uh, <gasps> Whoa! Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go! Now we can open up the door, but the prisoners can't. So here, here, here. Let me go ahead and grab this keycard scanner real quick, and let's just put it over here on the wall like that. And then we can put down one of these reinforced doors right over here. And why, why is it open? Oh, oh, you guys are spamming it. Guys, stop opening it for a second. Hold on. I need to see if you can walk through here. And Oh, perfect. You can't fit through. That is awesome. Sweet! I, I, I want to open the door again! And, uh, Ruby, don't spam it. You're going to break it or something. Oh, okay. But it's so fun! And wait, Cam, are you setting the ceiling over here into more iron bars? Why? I don't know. I'm experimenting. I've never used these before. Okay, okay. Well, I think we should set the ceiling into some more burnt bricks like this. And then, guys, now we gotta deck out the interior of this prison cell. We gotta make this place horrible. I got this. I got this. Ready to see this bed? All right, all right. Yeah, let's see. You gotta make the most atrocious bed possible. And Oh, no, that looks gross. Wait, what? Okay, so the floor part of the bed is made out of mangrove roots, and then the top part is... Oh, gosh, reinforced cobwebs. That is disgusting. Isn't this awesome? This is kind of gross, but wait, wait, why don't we just fill up the entire prison cell with reinforced cobwebs? That way the prisoners inside can, like, walk around super slowly. Oh my gosh, yeah, I bet they'll hope that they weren't in prison then. Yeah, this will make them learn their lesson, but anyways, I think this should be pretty good. Let me go ahead and hop out of this prison cell real quick, and okay, guys, now we gotta make a few more of these cells, but ooh, we can do it really quickly. Let me just grab a wand real quick and select all of this, and now let me look this way and what is this? Oh, it's a lounge. I'm making a little lounge area for them. What? Uh, no, Cam, this is like the bad prisoners. We don't need a lounge here. We gotta fit other prison cells here. Yeah, destroy this thing. Well, why not? You can make a lounge in the security guard room, but hold on a minute. Let me go ahead and continue what I was doing. I gotta stack this uh, prison cell four times. There we go. And ooh, check it out. Now we got a bunch of prison cells, but hold on. Uh, this one, the, the key card scanner is kind of outside. We gotta move that in. I guess we can just move it right over here like that. Yeah, that works. Okay, yeah. Let's go. We got all of the cells done, but hold on, hold on. There's still one more step we need to do. We need to stack it up a block. Let me select all of this and let me just slash slash stack it and boom. There we go. Now we got two floors of prison cells. Now we got to build the balcony again. And uh, Cam, what is this? Making them a kitchen in case they get hungry. Cam, I told you we need to build more prison cells here. We don't have room for a kitchen, but ooh, wait, that's a good idea. We got to build a cafeteria next. We can't have our prisoners starving. Oh yeah, that's right. Because if they're starving, um, who knows what they'll do. Exactly. Exactly. They're probably not going to uh, survive for long. Listen, all I'm saying is if I can't can't live without cake. I, 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 I don't think I can uh, live here. And Cam, you realize you're not living in here, right? We're just building the prison. You're not actually going to live here as a prisoner. Wait, do you think that you'll get arrested for something? No, I don't think I'm going to get arrested. I just thought, you know, that maybe, you know, they could, like, share some space. What? Cam, no, we're not building a house for you. We're building a prison. But hold on a minute, guys. I just found some more bricks that we could use. Yo, check it out. It's the overcooked brick wall. Oh, these are kind of lighter. They don't look as scary. It's overcooked. And then over here, we got the burnt brick wall. Wait, 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 wait. I think I know know what this will do to the prisoners. Wait, well, what's it gonna do to the prisoners? It's just a wall. They're gonna look at it and think, wow, that wall looks like chocolate. I can't believe I can't eat the wall and be sad. And Oh, yeah, I guess they will be kind of sad from that. Ooh, I'm gonna put, like, item frames here with, like, candy and donuts so they want. <laughs> and, oh, no, Ruby, that's messed up. Yeah, this is pretty evil of me, huh? That is pretty evil, but uh, I guess, whoa, wait, you're putting so much item frames here, and you're just gonna put candy in these? <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm gonna put a bunch of treats here. Oh, no, the prisoners are gonna be going crazy. Well, wait a minute, guys. Guys, if this is the mid-level prison block, what are we going to do for the, the, the worst of the worst? What are we going to do for, like, the really bad, bad prisoners? I don't know, but it has to, like, contain, like, the, the, the scariest mobs. Like, here, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be where, like, the really bad guys go. But, uh, I, I don't know. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But here, let's just go ahead and build our other cells right over here on this side here. I'll start decking out the interior. We got to grab some more of these uh, the beds. I'm not sure if you can really call them beds, but uh, whatever they are. And here, we just got to put one of these in each room. And then, oh, wait, hold on. We also got to fill the interior room up with cobwebs. Wow, this is a horrible place to be at. And check this out. And wait, wait, hold on. Do you put stuff in all of the item frames and oh no, you got like so much candy and chocolate. The prisoners are just gonna be craving this. They're gonna be super, super sad. Oh no, yeah, these prisoners are not gonna have a fun time here, but hopefully they'll learn their lesson. Yeah, no more jaywalking. Yeah, but uh, the jaywalking's not that bad of a crime. I don't think we should put the jaywalkers in here. Wait, Dash, have you jaywalked before? What? No, 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 of course not. Except for like... Criminal! No, I was, I was, no, I, I've never, I've never. Get in the 
cell. Get in the cell. Yeah, guys, guys, I've, I promise I've never uh, walked across a sidewalk without the light turning green, okay? I've always waited for the light to turn green. You have. I thought I could trust you. Damn, I've not, I haven't done it before. I was lying. I was joking, okay? I was joking, yeah. You lie. I didn't lie. But wait, wait. Instead of building new cell blocks over here on the top floor, we can actually do this much faster. Let me just grab another wand and select this. And oh, wait, actually, let me select this and then also select this part in the other corner. And let me just slash slash stack it. Boom, there we go. Wait, Ruby, uh -huh. your, uh, the, your tactic of showing them sweets, uh, it, it kind of is backfiring. Oh, why? Wait, yeah, wait, why is it backfiring? Because they can just take the sweets from the item frame. Uh, how, how? Gosh, have you never used an item frame before? What are you talking about? Uh, whoa, 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 okay, hold on. You can't go in that prison cell. I'd like to see you break one of the sweets out of the item frame. Well, they're gonna have to come out of the cell eventually. And, oh, wait, actually, yeah, you're right. I forgot that they're gonna have to come out of the cell to, like, go to the cafeteria and stuff. Oh. Wait, you're right. Yeah, what if we put them, like, up high where they can't reach? And, oh, wait, wait, I know, I know. Why don't we build, like, a box over here and uh, cover up the sides with iron bars and then have all of the treats in there? That way the prisoners are going to crave them, but they're not going to be able to reach them. Ooh, all right. Oh, that is evil. These prisoners are going to have a rough time. Okay, I'm going to put this down here and get all the sweet treats I can. Alrighty, let's see here. Chocolate ice cream and then, ooh, what kind of cake can I put down? And, whoa, okay, we can fit so many more item frames over here as well. This is actually horrible. Okay, a cupcake and then a cupcake with a candle. Whoa, okay, that is a lot of crazy treats. But hold on, huh? we should also add a roof over here so that the prisoners can't just like climb over and eat all of the candy. Wait, you know what? I just realized that we might be able to fit a, a third floor on this. And oh, wait, actually, yeah, we probably do have enough room. I guess let me go ahead and finish building this wall first and then we could just stack up the cells one more time. Okay, you do that. I'm going to take out every single kind of donut I can find. Oh gosh, this is gonna be like a whole bakery in here. But anyways, let me go ahead and select all of this over here real quick. I'll do this side over here. All right, all right. And let me just go ahead and stack it up like that boom and okay yeah we, we got quite a bit of room and now we can just set the roof right over here out of some more of these burnt bricks boom there we go that's looking good okay and wait dash do you know what i should put in the thing uh hmm, let me see do i have any ideas Ooh, have you put in any oh enchanted golden apple donuts yet or oh, gummy bears have you put any of those i haven't done gummy bears yet you're so right yeah, yeah here you gotta do some gummy bears there we go there we go thanks thanks but wait, wait, hold on. We got to build a staircase to get up to this floor. I guess we can just build that right over here like this. There we go. And okay, perfect. Now we have a staircase for getting up to the third floor. This is actually awesome. Yep, the prisoners get no sunlight here. Well, okay, that is very mean. But anyways, I think the cell area should be pretty much done. But oh, we should probably break all of these iron frames here. We don't want the prisoners taking this stuff. Yeah, they're not allowed to have candy because it's bad for their teeth. Yeah, you know what? Actually, we're kind of doing the prisoners a favor here. We're like making them healthier. Wait, you're right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, we're making them better people. But anyways, this cell block is looking pretty good. We got a door right over here. This area is looking pretty awesome. Oh, wait, guys. Uh, we got to build those frowny faces on the wall. I thought you hated those. Nah, I think it's cool because it lets us, like, know which prison is which. Like, we, this one's the smiley prison. This one's the uh, frowny prison. And then we could have, like, a mad prison over here for the bad guys. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, okay, but here, for the smiley face, I'm thinking, why don't we build it out of some... Ooh, we could just use some normal concrete and have it out over here like this. Wait, should this be the frowny face, or should this be like a, the, you know, just like a meh face? Oh, this could be the meh face, and then we could have the frowny face for the really, really bad prisoners over there. And, okay, I think this is looking pretty good. We got the frowny face here, we got the smiley face over there, and now we gotta build the frowny face prison, the place for all of the bad prisoners. But first, we should probably build the cafeteria and stuff like that, right? And, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. We're gonna need a place for all of the prisoners prisoners to eat because without a cafeteria they're gonna uh starve to death wait that would be pretty bad i don't want the prisoners to go hungry even if they did something bad yeah they're not gonna be able to serve their time then but anyways let's go ahead and hmm, we could just build the cafeteria off over here let me just go over here in this corner and select this position and then let me also go all the way over here uh yeah i think this area should be good it's gonna be huge yeah we're gonna have a lot of prisoners in here oh we could build a two-story cafeteria we could have two floors and guys what should we set the walls to? Ooh, why don't we make it look like a McDonald's but have, like, really bad food in there? And, oh! Yeah, it should only have bananas. Okay, okay. that That's actually a pretty funny idea. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's set the walls into a little bit of, I guess, white concrete for a McDonald's. And, ooh, guys, we can even have, like, a McDonald's logo up over here. The prisoners are going to think that they're going to get, like, burgers and stuff, but they're just going to get uh, spider eyes and rotten flesh. Yep, they're only going to get bananas. I don't know about bananas. Bananas are kind of, like, nice. What, what do you mean they're nice? Bananas might be a little bit too good for the prisoners. What? But they're healthy. 
Yeah. Okay, fine, fine. I guess we can give them bananas, but here now it's time to deck out the interior of the McDonald's. The f or, actually wait, the, the, the cafeteria. This isn't gonna be a real McDonald's. The first thing we gotta do is let's have a little counter over here for the food. Oh yeah, and then uh, we can set the tables to like uh, I don't know, uh, uh, just dirt. <laughs> what? I don't know about dirt. Isn't the food gonna get dirty? Uh, th th aren't we serving them rotten flesh and spider eyes? And oh uh, wait, actually you're right. But come on, dirt is gonna be like kind of weird. Let's make the area look at least a little bit nice. Uh, fine, we'll do mud. Mud! Uh, uh, mud is even worse than dirt. It's like wet. I'll start making the menu. All right, that sounds good. Here, I'll set the entire floor of this place into some uh, yellow concrete. There we go. Oh, I was thinking oak planks. And what? No, no, no. We got to make this look like a McDonald's. We got to make everything look nice and colorful, except the food is going to be horrible. And uh, Ruby, are we serving them item frames? Yep, item frames and bananas. Uh, <laughs> I think we should have a little bit more than that. Bananas are all right, but I think we should have like some meat in there as well. Okay, oh, let's. And uh, wait, Ruby, why is there so many bananas everywhere? I just walked outside of the McDonald's. There's literally bananas everywhere. Oh, you like it? Um, I don't know. These are gonna rot, and then they're gonna attract the mice, and then the mice are gonna eat the prisoners. Mm, that would be pretty bad, huh? What, the, what? How is there so many bananas here, Ruby? You're gonna attract gorillas at this point. Well, wait, do you think I'd get to see a real gorilla? Um, uh, maybe if you keep at it with these bananas. Where did you even get these things from? Oh, I don't know. Let's see here. Um, I can put down some. Bones and some. And, uh, uh, wait, 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 this isn't gonna be a dog cafeteria. I don't know about bones. It's fish bones. <laughs> what, what? Are they gonna be like licking off the, the meat off the like the last pieces of meat left on the bones? Oh uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, let's see here. We can put down some saplings for vegetables. Uh, well, oh gosh, this is horrible. And whoa, oh, Cam, these tables here are looking pretty good. I see we got the muddy mangrove roots for the tables, and then we got stripped mangrove chairs. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm trying to find the dirtiest blocks possible. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. But here, we should also make an upstairs area. Let me go ahead and just grab a few stairs. What type of stairs should we use? Is there anything yellow? Oh, wait, there's something red. Hold on, hold on. Let's use this. This looks kind of cool. First, I should probably make the second floor, though. I'm just going to select this position and also this position right over here. And let's set this entire floor into some yellow concrete. There we go. And now it's time to build those stairs, which we can just build out of some of these red stairs. All right, boom. There we go. That's looking pretty good. And okay, now we got to put a bunch of tables on the upstairs. Area. And wait, Cam, have you found any dirty blocks that we can build the upstairs out of yet? Oh, yeah. What about these? They're called sandy, uh, sand covered blackstone bricks. And oh, sand covered blackstone bricks. Okay, this could work. I guess the prisoners are going to get sand in their food. That's kind of gross. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Well, here, let's go ahead and build a few tables and chairs out of these. We can just put down some tables and chairs like that. And that's looking pretty good. Ooh, what we could do is just copy this entire table and paste it a few times. We just select all that and then run the command slash slash stack. Uh, three. There we go. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. Ooh, sweet. And I think the menu is done. And ooh, all right, all right, here. Let's see, let's see. What is going to be served at this place? Let's check it out. And okay, okay. Let's start off on the left. We got a lot of bananas and item frames, it seems. But ooh, we also got some uh, rotten flesh. And uh, what are those music discs? Yeah, those are broken music discs. I don't think you can eat those. Oh, no. Those are the plates. Oh, oh, I, I, I see. And then we also got some uh, fish bones and saplings over here. And ew, what is this thing? This is some gel. What, gel? What type of gel? <laughs> what? I don't know, but I thought maybe it looked yummy. Yeah, I guess it's better than slime. It looks like the stuff that I cook at home. Uh, uh, what? Ew. Uh, uh, okay, and whoa, what's this thing over here? Pocket sand. B pocket sand? What? <laughs> this is like a meal? Uh, I think so. Here, try it. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> You can throw it at each other. Oh, no. What is, what is going on? I think It'll be good for food fights. And, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I guess so. Get over here! No, 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 no! Stop blinding me with the pocket sand. But wait, 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 speaking about sand, have you checked out the upstairs yet? We've got more sand over here. We got sandy tables. Ew, that's gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The prisoners are gonna get sand inside of their food, and it's gonna be like crunchy and. Uh, I, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> Wait, Cam, get over here. What? No, get, get away. Get over here. Get over here. <laughs> no, you're trying to sand at him. Wait, hold on, Cam. You got to feel the wrath of the sand. Help. You got to experience the sand. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Have you been sanded yet? Have you uh, hit, hit you? Oh, you've cornered yourself now. You're going to get sanded. Ah, there you go. Nope. 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 I'm hiding. Did I hit you yet or no? Ah, you hit me. I'm blind. <laughs> Let's go. Yay. But that was pretty cool. Um, this McDonald's or uh, not McDonald's? 
Lands looks pretty cool. Yeah, this area actually looks awesome. Let's go. But wait, wait, we need more tables down here. We've only got two. Let me just select all of this table over here and run the command slash slash stack four. There we go. And oh, oh wait, uh, I think I went a bit too far. Let me undo that real quick. Let's do slash slash stack three only. Yeah, that was a little too many tables. This is just enough. Yep, there we go. Now we've got just enough tables. Hopefully there's enough to fit all of our prisoners. But anyways, now the final thing we got to do is set the roof. So we can just set the roof into some white concrete. Nothing fancy. Let's just do slash slash set white concrete. Boom. There we go. And okay, guys, we've got the cafeteria done. Now it's time to build the frowny face block. Yay. We're gonna decorate. Yep, we gotta build the cell block for the very, very bad prisoners. This is gonna be where the worst of the worst go. And ooh, we can make this one the biggest one. Hey, wait, I have an idea. Wait, wait, what is it? What is it? Um, let's see. I'll just add this right here and this right here. And oh, <laughs> what? Now, now this guy kind of looks like weird. He's doing a little blushy. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I, I guess it works, but hold on a minute, guys. What are we gonna build the frowny face prison block out of? We gotta build it out of the scariest block possible. Ooh, what about that gross looking block that Cam put down earlier with the red stuff on and, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. We gotta use that weird red one. Uh, okay, what was that called again, Cam? Um, Crimson something. Oh, yeah, yeah, Crimson Deep Slate Bricks. These look crazy. Okay, okay, let's use these. Ooh, why don't we use these and then also some normal Deep Slate Bricks? Ew, they look so gross! Yeah, this stuff looks wild. Wait, wait, hold on. Is there any other scarier ones that we could use? Let me see. There's these blue ones over here, but I think the red ones look scarier, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the red ones look like they've got, um, jam on them. Yeah, exactly. But here, let me just go ahead and select this position right over here. And then also this other position in the other corner. And now let's just set the walls into some deep slate bricks and also some of these crimson deep slate bricks. So boom, there we go. And ooh, that's looking pretty crazy. Whoa, look at that mix. This looks really, really good. Yeah, and wait, wait, hold on. Why don't we make this cell block over here crimson themed? Let me go ahead and grab a few crimson stems. And why don't we just put a few of those in the corner over here like this? Ooh, okay. Hey, wait, I wonder if this would look even cooler with pocket sand in my eyes. Uh, yep. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Come on, come on. Yeah, I put it on myself. And I can't see anything. No, it doesn't look cooler. All right, anyway, this prison's gonna be crazy. Yep, let's go. Let's go ahead and put all of these crimson stems around here like this. And then, guys, what are we gonna put inside of the cells for this one? In the last prison, we have a bunch of webs inside, which is already pretty bad, but we gotta make this one worse. Hmm. Well, what could be worse than the bed like that? Oh, I know. Wait, wait, wait. You do? What is it? A bed like this. Oh, no. This bed looks horrible. It's just some nether sprouts. Yeah, let me think if I can think of anything worse. Okay, okay. Well, first things first. Let's go ahead and build our entrance over here. And now it's time to start building the cell blocks. Oh, wait. Let me also set the floor into something nice. And by nice, I mean more of these deep slate blocks. Let's go. And okay, I guess for the prison cell, we can build it the same shape as the other ones that we've been building. But ooh, guys, what are we going to put for the wall over here? I don't think reinforced iron bars is going to be strong enough for this one. Oh, you're right. Mm, I wonder what we should do. Ooh, what if we just don't even give them iron bars so we just make it completely out of bedrock? And what? Wait, the building the cells out of bedrock? Okay, that actually is a pretty good idea. Okay, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just have the entire cell over here be built out of some bedrock. This way, the prisoners are never gonna escape. Exactly! And then we gotta have a door for them as well. So, hmm, what door should we use? Uh, is there a bedrock door? Does that exist? There's no bedrock door. I think the reinforced door is the best one that we could get, but... <gasps> Wait, wait, hold on, guys. I have an idea. What about we set up a command block door? What? Yeah, yeah, we can use command blocks to actually make uh, like, like, like a real bedrock door. Ooh, wait, we should do that. Yeah, 100%. Let me go ahead and give myself a command block really quick. I'm just going to slash give myself a command block. Boom, there we go. And then what we got to do is, uh, hmm, how are we going to do this? I guess we can have one command block here for closing the door and then one over here for opening the door. Next, let me grab a button and just put it on each one of these command blocks. And here, now let me just go ahead and type in the command. We need to fill the blocks above the command block into some bedrock for this command block. So there we go. And all right, guys, check it out. Now, whenever you hit this button, it'll set the blocks into a bedrock. Ooh, let's go. Ooh. And here, now I just got to copy this command over here in this other command block, except I'm going to change bedrock into air. And all right, now if I press this command block, it should open the door and... Uh, Wait, why is it working? I think we need to have a block in between the command blocks. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure when I hit this one, it's activating the close command block as well. Okay, let me just move this command block over here like this. There we go. And okay, now if I hit this button, boom, it opens up the door. And then we can also close the door. Wow, this is actually maximum security right here. Sweet. Now we can copy and paste it, right? Yep. All we got to do is just select all of this. But wait, wait, wait. Before we copy and paste it a bunch of times, we need to deck out the inside. Oh, yeah, that's smart. Wait, 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 wait. I want to do the bed. Oh, oh. 
Oh, yeah, right, Ruby. You're, you're, you're gonna be in charge of the inside. Uh, let, let's see. What, what do you got planned for the bed? Uh, is, is that a grill? Yep. Uh, oh, oh, a grill and sea urchins? Oh, no. Bed and pillow, baby. Whoa. Okay, okay. This is actually crazy. Hold on a minute. Can you put coal inside of the grill? Let me just grab a little bit of coal and... Uh, how do you put coal in the grill? And oh, wait, there we go. I'm putting coal in it. Hold on, hold on. Let me just put a little bit of coal in all of these grills. And then let me just grab some flints and steel and... Uh, wait, how do you light it? How does this thing work? Right, you just gotta put some food on it to light it. Oh, oh, you gotta put some food on it? Okay, what type of food are we gonna put on here? What's the worst food that we can use? Raw bacon. And what? No, raw bacon is, like, not that bad. What about some raw rabbit? Ooh, put that down, put that down! Wait, can we put puffer fish on it as well? Does that work? And, okay, actually, I think rabbit, rabbit should be fine. Alright, now let it burn. Let's go! Okay, and now it's time to put down the bathroom. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're gonna build a bathroom in here as well? Okay, okay, let's see. What do you have planned for the bathroom? Let's see here. We'll make this a little deeper, and let's just do that. And that. And, oh no, it's like a dog bathroom. Isn't it perfect? <laughs> um, I guess this works in a camp. Are you cooking the rabbits? But I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I guess you can have those. But anyways, I think this is a, a pretty nice arrangement here. We got the bed set up with the grills and then we got the, the bathroom here. Is there anything else that our maximum security prisoners are going to need? Oh wait, they need somewhere to put their stuff, right? And oh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, We don't want to give them a chest though because they could probably use a chest to try to escape. Let's give them half of a shulker box. A half of a shulker? Shulker box? Oh, no. Okay, I guess we can use half of a shulker box. Yep, and with that, I think the interior is complete. Yeah, they can just drop their stuff in here. Let's go. Okay, okay. Well, this is pretty good. Now, let me close the door like that, and now it's time to stack the cells. Let me just select these positions, and then let me look this way and run the command slash slash stack uh, six. I think we can fit six in here. Oh, we can fit more than six. We can fit even one more. Boom! There we go. We've got seven cells. Awesome. This is sick. Let's go. Hold on, hold on. Wait, we should probably add, like, some blocks that Dividing these cells together so that we know uh, the, which cell is which cell. Oh, yeah. Let's open up all these cells just so we can make sure that they all work. Yep. All of the cells should be working. This command block door is actually sick. Let's go. Yep. And the insides look perfect, too. Hmm, wait a minute, guys. What are we going to do if one of the prisoners, I don't know, um, makes a weapon with the stuff inside? I mean, they have a lot of equipment to work with. What if they, like, take one of the legs of the grill and make a sword out of it? Mm. I wonder if we have to do something else. Wait, guys, I have an idea. What we could do is put down some security cameras here. Ooh, wait, what? That's a thing? Yeah, of course they're a thing. Let me grab a security camera and a camera monitor. And what we can do is just place a security camera uh, right over here next to each one of these cells. Yeah, now the prisoners have no chance at escaping and getting away. Nice, nice. All right, all of the cameras should be connected. Let me just look through one of them real quick, and oh, this is actually perfect. Yo, I can see myself. Wow, I'm looking fine today. Uh, what? I'm looking at myself. All right, that is actually sick. But anyways, guys, we've got all of these done, and now it's time to build a bunch more of these. Let me just go ahead and select all of this cell block really quick, and it's time to stack it up. Let me just look up and run the command slash slash stack, and boom, there we go. We got another cell block. Nice. Do all these command blocks work? Yep, all of the command blocks should still be working. Yep, we can close and open the door on all of them. Okay, let's close this place up. Yeah, yeah, we should probably close all these doors. And let's make a balcony for the second floor. All right, all right, nice. And then, ooh, wait, we also got to copy these prison cells over on the other side over here. Okay, let's close the doors before we do that. Yeah, 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 but here, let me go ahead and just stand over here on this side and run the command slash slash copy. And now let me go to the other side and run the command slash slash flip and slash slash paste and boom there we go now we've got a bunch of cells whoa nice nice but wait guys do you really think we need all these cameras i feel like uh we have a bit too many what about we just have like one or two in this entire room that should be enough to cover the entire area uh, are you kidding me i don't want these guys escaping hmm, but even if they do escape the cameras aren't really gonna stop them it's only gonna like let us know that they escape oh wait you're right Ooh, what if we have like something guarding it like guard dogs and oh, wait guard dogs could work the guard dogs could actually be a good idea but guys i'm thinking what about we use some more of those turrets from earlier Remember that crossbow turret that you pulled out, Ruby? Oh, wait, I do remember that thing. We gotta use some more of that stuff. I'm pretty sure there's more types of turrets that we can get. Let me just look at my inventory real quick and... <gasps> Whoa, oh, hold on a minute, guys. We can get robots. Wait, what? Robots? Yeah, yeah, wait, hold on. There's type A robots, type S robots, and then type C robots. Hold on, hold on. We gotta see what these things do. Everyone hop out over here. We gotta do some testing. And, oh, wait, I see you built the Freddy face. That looks awesome. Yeah, I'm building another one. Yo, wait, that one over there that you're building right now looks mean. I like it. Oh, yeah, wait, we gotta give eyebrows. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. That'll make it look a lot angrier. We can just have, like, some eyebrows over here, like, uh, like that. Is that, is that looking good? Oh, we gotta, we gotta give him a unibrow. Oh, yeah, you. Unibrow boy. <laughs> That's looking awesome. What do you think of mine? 
<laughs> Yours is looking pretty cool. I can't lie. We should build another one over here on this side to make it all even. Oh, yeah, I'll do this one. Oh, all right. All right. Let's see. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Whoa, this one's looking pretty mean as well. There we go. Man, I can't imagine what the prisoners are going to be thinking when they're doing the walk of shame from over there all the way to over here. It's going to be tough. They're going to be like, oh, this prison's so cute. And then they're going to be like, oh, it's a, it's a man piece of prison. And they're going to be like, whoa, it's so scary. Exactly. But hold on a minute, guys. Now it's time to test out these robots. I'm going to go ahead and spawn in these type A ones first. And whoa, these things look crazy. Let me go ahead and spawn in a zombie to test it out. And all right, here we go. Let's see. What is this type A robot going to do? Is it going to do anything to the zombie? And yo, 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 look at the flying robot. Yo, it's shooting arrows at it. Wait, that is so cute. Yo, it just spawned in another one. That's awesome. Yo. Whoa. It's like our own security guards. But hold on a minute, guys. We got to step it up a notch. Let's try out the type S ones. Let's try it out over here so that the other ones don't interfere. And let me spawn in a zombie. And okay, are these ones going to be better? What, what, what are these ones going to do? And yo, wait, is that a cannon? What? Yo, he's shooting cannonballs at the zombie. Yo, they're like blowing up. I think this one is better than the other one. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That one is definitely better than the other one. But oh, wait a minute, guys. There's also one more. The Type C robots. Let me go ahead and spawn these down. And okay, let's see. What are the Type C ones going to do? Oh, wait. This zombie spawned in with an iron sword. That must mean he's like really bad. And oh, here we go. Here we go. The Type C one. Oh, whoa. Look, it's like shooting green stuff at it. An acid? Whoa. It's got an acid shooter. Okay, okay, guys. I think we should use the Type S ones and the Type C ones. These ones are awesome. Yeah, I'm going to put these uh, in the entrance right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. We could have them inside of the entrance. That's looking pretty good. Let's also have a few inside of the actual prison itself. We can have uh, one right over here, another one over here, and then we could also have some type C ones over here upstairs. Yeah. Here, let's try spawning in a zombie now and pretend this is a prisoner. Let's see what's going to happen. And yo, wait, the robots are going after it. The robots are going after it. This is actually sick. Yo, uh, whoa. We need a lot of these guys. They're awesome. Yeah, these guys are like our own security guards. We don't even have to hire security guards for this prison. Yeah, we can have everything ran by robots. Yeah, but we definitely need a roof, though. Oh, oh, yeah, 100%. Let me go ahead and just select this position here and also this position right here. And I guess we can just set the roof into some more deep slate bricks. Boom, there we go. That is looking awesome. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Yep, I think that should be everything for this cell block done. But guys, hold on. We still got a lot of room over here. Is there anything else that we need to build inside of this prison? Hmm. Wait, we should build them on playground. And wait, a, a, a playground for the prisoners? Yeah, don't all prisons have playgrounds? And actually, wait, wait, I'm pretty sure they kind of do have playgrounds. I don't think it's called the playground, though. It's called the courtyard. They have, like, basketball hoops and stuff. Oh, okay, but uh, how do we build that? Well, here, the first thing we got to do is let's build a little area for it. Let me select this position and then also this position out over here. And let's set the entire floor into some gray concrete. There we go. Or wait, actually, we should use light gray concrete. That'll look cooler. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, wait, this looks like a basketball court now. Yep, but here, the next thing we got to do is let's set the walls into some iron bars just to make it look, I don't know, more prison themed. And okay, now we got to build the basketball court. Oh, I'll make the entrance over here. All right, all right. And here, the next thing we got to do is build the hoops. So uh, I guess we can just build that out of some... Ooh, why don't we use some webs? Webs can be the net and then we could use a hopper as a hoop. Oh, okay. I'll build my own basketball hoop right here. And oh, wait, wait. Are you going to make like a small one? Uh, yeah. So I'm going to put it like this, this, and like this. That. And oh, wait, I, that doesn't really look like a basketball hoop, but I guess that works. We can put some uh, some webs around it as a net. Yeah, that's looking kind of cool. Yay! All right, all right. Well, this is looking pretty cool, but hold on a minute. How are the prisoners going to be able to like actually get up here and jump to the top? Guys, we got to build a slime block bouncing machine. Um, okay. How? What do you mean how? It's so simple. We just need to grab a piston, some pressure plates, a few pieces of redstone, and also some obsidian. And check it out. I'm just going to put down the piston on the floor over here like that, and then a little bit of redstone around it like this. And then finally, we got to cover everything up with obsidian because we do not want the piston trying to lift up this entire ground. Oh, yeah, that's true. And then finally, we can put our slime block there and then some pressure plates around here like that. And check it out. Now we can bounce and dunk on the hoop. Let's go. Come on. Can I... Do it. Uh, hey, I'm really bad at this. And, oh, wait, Ruby, you kind of got to try going from the side like this. I think that's like the where you'll get the best luck at. Yo, wait, I think I just scored. Let's go. Oh, hi, Dash. Oh, you got it. Yes, let's go. Well, wait a minute, guys. A basketball court needs more than one hoop. We got to build another one over there for the other team. Wait, what? These prisoners have it so good. <laughs> well, I mean, Ruby, they only have a basketball court. Don't forget all the other stuff that we have for them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the sea urchin pillows. Yeah, I wouldn't say they have it good. They, they have it. 
not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here, let's go ahead and just build another one of these things over here on this side. We can put down the piston over there and then got to put down the redstone around it like that. Wait, I'm actually going to extend the walls because what if they get on top of the hoppers? Then they could just, you know, bounce over the walls. And Oh, wait, wait. Actually, that is a good idea. We don't want them accidentally hopping on top of the hoppers with this slime block machine. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Wait, can I escape from the prison like this? Not anymore. I think Cam just raised the walls. But anyways, this is looking pretty good. I guess the final thing we got to do is play a game. Guys, we got to test it out. Everyone grab a basketball. Or actually, wait, no. We only need one basketball. The basketball can be magma cream. Ew, that's gross. <laughs> what? Dude, it, it, okay. First of all, we're in prison and it, it kind of looks like a basketball. Um, okay. Yeah, we got to just use whatever we have. Yeah. Case. Here, I'm just going to put a bunch of them inside of this chest over here for the prisoners to play with. There we go. And all right, you guys ready to lose in a game of basketball now? Uh, I am never going to lose in a game of basketball. Give me that ball. Let's go. Okay, okay. Well, here, let's do a 2v1. You guys can uh, team up on me. I'm just that good. I've been training. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. All right, all right, well, yeah, let's go in three, two, one. Go, go, go. I start with the ball. Uh, get over here. All right, here we go, here we go. I just gotta go around, and then I gotta jump on this thing. And Cam, are you, did you just trigger the slime block before I could jump on blocked it? Blocked you, blocked you. You're not allowed to do that. And, oh, here we go, here we go, dunk. Yo, let's go, I made it. Bruh. No. That was way too easy. That looked pretty fun, though. Wait, I want to go dunk it on your side. Come here. And, wait, wait, no, I'm stuck in the cop. Ah, you're gonna, okay, yeah, you're just, I can't even defend myself. Whee! Yeah, I guess it's a skill issue. Slam dunk! Okay, well, hold on. The score's 1-1. One, one. Let's, let's do first to three. Let's do first to three. Let's get lined up again. Let's get lined up. Uh, you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. And wait, Ruby, what are you doing here? Oh, oh, yeah, okay, over. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go! You guys better go down. Don't let him on! And th th that no, is no, such no, cheating. No. You can't stand on the pressure plate. Block him. I'm not standing. I'm jumping on it. Okay, anyway, keep jumping on it. Keep jumping on it. Just jump on it one more time. It'll bounce me, and then I'll go up, and I'll dunk. If you Can you jump? Give me the ball. Yeah, let's go. And wait, did I go in? <gasps> yes. No. What? I'm going to grab the rebound. I'm going to go in. Wait, hold on. Cam's going to score on me. Oh, no. I got to stop this. Go, go, go. Did you make it? <gasps> yes. You missed. What? I overshot it. Are you kidding me? How did you miss that? You got to stop him, Ruby. Stop it. Oh, wait, wait. Your guys' goal is not defended right now. Hold on. This is about to be an easy point. And boom. There we go. Yes. That's 3-1. Too easy. Oh, man. Now the game's over. Yeah, you guys got to practice your prison basketball. But anyways, I think this prison is now officially complete. Let's go. All right, guys. How's it going? Whoa. And, oh, guys, look, it's the officer. Hey, welcome to the prison. What do you think? This looks absolutely incredible. Oh, do we get our 500 diamonds now? Yeah, about the diamonds. I'm a, I'm a bit short on those. Uh, police, arrest these guys. Wait, what? Oh, no, guys, we gotta go. Run, get out of here, Ruby. Come on, we need to leave. What the heck? We didn't do anything wrong. Is he trying to arrest us? Oh, my gosh. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.